No, so I, a while ago you said you had something to say about uh, ah, the ah, ah, subjects. Ah, ah, so, yeah, I mean, because I, I, I have a very active Facebook feed and it's populated by folks that speak different dialects and they're from different parts of the country. People are from Cebu, CBO, Manila, wherever. They're, or they're from the Zone Visayas, Manila. And it seems that the biggest protest of the ex naming of Filipino from the college, from college, is coming from those who speak Tagalog. And it's like, and then, but the ones who don't natively speak Tagalog are happy about it. Because it's like, Filipino is not just about Tagalog. And it shouldn't just be centered on Tagalog. Na, kasi for example, if you went to school in Davao all your life, so your primary, non-English language would be Isaya or Chabacano or whatever other dialects are spoken in Tabao, in, in, in Mindanao, for example. So, you're good, you're, you go and all of a sudden it's college level. Like, like, I'm a Tagalog speaker and I had a hard time. Ano pa kaya somebody that doesn't speak it? And they were pretty strict in Ateneo. What time is the game up on that today? Um, <laughs> the Ateneo today. So there we go. Um, so for for me as as a native, well not really native, that's really over-representing myself. As someone that speaks Tagalog as well as English, as heartbroken as I am that it's no longer going to be, that they're not going to be offering it anymore, I can't help but understand the joy coming from someone that doesn't speak it natively and would probably be bombing those subjects. So it kind of levels the playing field for everybody. But I'm hoping that it's still offered, though, if not, if not in an official capacity, then as an elective, because it's, 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 a, it's still beautiful to learn. And there's a lot of literature to, to read that may not have been available to someone in another part of the country. Or have it be offered as something that everybody from any part of the country could equally enjoy. Na the Tagalog speakers don't have a leg up on something, if, if that makes any sense at all. So that's what I wanted to say. How was it, Mr. Z? May you tell me that again? Ako, wala. Okay, so wala na lang. Ang chichi na lang po being a national artist. How did you react when you found out about it? Ah, uh, okay. I just want to tell you that they, <laughs> they called me uh, on Monday, which was October 23. I had a call from CCP, uh, and it was Lillian who said, "Mr. C, you have to be in Malacanang on Wednesday. Why? Uh, this is about national artist. What about?" Uh, you're a national artist. I go, no, talaga. So anyway, that was Monday, and then we had to be in Malacanang by Wednesday. Two days later. Two days later. So, sabi ko, uh, okay, sige, uh, fine. Now, the effect, uh, wala ba siyang effect? Wala pa. Hindi pa, hindi pa lang kulutang. At ano yun, wow, national artist. Hindi. <laughs> Except that I think it's the people around who are quite excited about it. Uh, for the small people like the public, that is But a lot of them now are brave enough to come to me and say congratulations. But big congratulations, congratulations, you Mr. National Artist. And then maybe some, maybe later on, malaman ko. Because I just, uh, uh, which, wala, ganun din eh. Matawa pa rin ako, yun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hindi naman makawawala yun. <laughs> Extra income. Uh, no, may allowance pero wala pa siya, wala pa, hindi pa siya napoprocess. Meal allowance. Meal allowance. <laughs> <laughs> may, meron kami meal stock. <laughs> You can, uh, no, you can uh, price yourself uh, no, higher than uh, now. As a matter of fact, I was telling uh, Celeste 
Sen ezt pedig Ászló. Szávinja. Ai congratulations. Ai congratulations, Mr. Sen. Szávinja. I'm afraid to see the how well I know how to do it. The how well I know how to rock it. Because I'm a commercial artist. You know, you know, as I've said, what I've said, you know, I'm just an artist. I'm not a good name. I mean, mahal na yan, gano'n, baka hindi na natin ma-afford or something like that. Yun ang sabi ko sa kanya, afraid ako, baka mawala ako ng trabaho, mawala ng racket. The important thing sa akin, we have to keep on working and keep the economy going kasi important para mo ako yun. Yeah, I think that's it.